All right, so we're going to dimension this shape with uniform depth. We got the top, we've got the front, and then we've got the right side. That's there. We got the ISO in the top right corner. Overall, we're going to go through and we're going to do the width, then the height, and then the depth of the object. The width corresponds with the front and the top view, but the front view is our most important one. So therefore, we're going to do our width there. We're going to do it by the number method. First vertical line on the left gets zero then one on the next vertical line, two on the next vertical line. From those lines, we're going to put out our extension lines. Then what we're going to do is take our first segment, our smallest one first, give that closest to the shape, put our dimension line in from 0 to 1, 0 0.75. Then from 0 to 2, it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit further away from our shape itself. That dimension is 2 cubes long, so we've got 1.5 units. Then we're going to go through and look at our heights. The heights themselves are based off of the front view and the right view. When we look at the heights, we start at 0 at the first horizontal line at the bottom, 1 to the next horizontal line, 2 at the next horizontal line there. So from 0 to 1, we put on our extension lines, closest one, smallest one. We go from 0 to 2 on our heights, and noticing that these heights match that same height that's there. Now we're going to look at width. Width on the top, or sorry, depth. Depth on the top, depth on the right. Depth looks at the right side, our vertical lines. There's the first one that gets a 0. The next one gets a 1 for our starting and ending point. From front to there, 1 cube length. So we've got that 0 